All right, guys, welcome back to Monty PS2. So today we are doing some undervolting on this Ryzen 5 5600G on this build right there with the stock cooler on an Asus ROG Strix B550A motherboard. And now what we're gonna do is actually reduce the temperature, reduce the power, stop the throttling if it's there while increasing the all core performance, okay? So let's get straight into the settings in the BIOS. Okay, so once you're in the BIOS and you get there by spamming the F2 or the lit key on your PC, you wanna go on the advanced mode and then you wanna go on the AI tweaker if you have an Asus motherboard or it can be called overclocking or tuning or something like that on different brands. You wanna go over here, then the first setting will be something like mode or AI overclock tuner in this case and now you want to set it to be DOCP which is basically the XMP it applies your RAM overclock for you so you want to set this thing and now you want to scroll all the way down until you find something that's called CPU voltage okay now once you find it you want to hit on it hit on manual and now hit 1.0 Two, five, okay this is our new voltage it's gonna be much lower than stock voltage and now what you want to do is find something that is called CPU core ratio and set it to be all core okay in this case it's already all core in ROG motherboards and now you want to hit 40 in there okay and the tutorial is basically over you just hit F10 and you save the settings but if you're still here I will give you a couple of extra tips now you see this thing it's called FCLK frequency now this is a controller inside the CPU for your RAM. Now, if possible, this should be exactly half the speed of your RAM. So if your RAM is 3600 megahertz RAM, you want this one to 1800 megahertz. If you had 3200, you would put here 1600 megahertz. In case you wanna put some extra effort into tuning your stuff, basically the best CPUs can get all the way up to 42 on the core ratio while still keeping the 1.025 here on the V core, okay? Probably some other methods you will see online are the Ryzen Master method, but that's again, that is at a higher level. So this one is better to actually input the settings. So I recommend you use it in the BIOS. Now, something else that, that you will see is actually called the curve optimizer. Now, if you do that and say you input like minus 50 millivolt on the curve optimizer, it's gonna work, but the CPU will still be fluctuating. So while that might give you ever so slightly better single core speed, it's gonna be still worse in multi-thread. So if you're doing rendering and stuff, and in games that use all the cores it's gonna be worse plus it's gonna fluctuate so sometimes it's gonna dip your fps if you're playing competitive you do not want that so i recommend you follow those settings specifically well if you've seen it this far i have other tutorials for gpus on my channel and other cpus and be sure to drop a like and subscribe bye